Blessed day my people, so in this video I want to talk about some breaking news that I just saw on the Jamaica Gleaner page, you see me? And of course it has to do with Shakari Richardson because it seemed like the 123 not too long ago kind of put a little damper on her motivation, you see me? And basically this is what the article said. Justin, Shakari Richardson withdraws from 200 meters at Prefontaine Classic. So yes people, she withdraws, she pull out of the race, and now go see her in at the 200 meters, you understand? So, I don't know, I guess the one, two, three kind of put a damper on her career and she doesn't have the motivation. That's what me feel like, you see me? What if people are react to it? What if people are comments? We so get into all of that. But let me finish reading this article first so I understand everything, is it? So it says, American sprinter Shakari Richardson has now withdrawn from the women's 200 meters at the Profontaine Classic in Eugene, Oregon. Earlier today, the 21-year-old placed ninth in the women's 100 meters. Jamaica's Elaine Thompson won in a record breaking 10.54. Richardson was initially slated to compete against Olympic stars Alyssa Felix and Gabby Thomas. Instead, the two American stars will battle a crowded field of international stars. For reference, this is not the first time in recent memory that Richardson has pulled out of the women's 200 meters dash at a major event. In fact, she pulled out of the women's 200 meters dash at the US Olympic trials after winning the women's 100 meters dash. At this time, it is unclear clear as to why she pulled out of the event however more details regarding this tour will emerge in the coming days so yes people you know them so them don't really have much information as to why she pulled out but of course my feel like say just because you know she feels shame me not telling a lie my minor people look she come dead last in the race you know you see what I'm saying and as myself of course a lot of Jamaicans over there me I tell you say them I put the pressure upon her so me take up myself now decide to me go up on her Instagram page go see if she make no post or anything like that now basically what she did was put um, limited on her Instagram post or page then and what that does is that you can't leave certain type of comments over there so if you go there now and try if you say, yo, you try to diss up Jamaicans and rate it, that might get blocked, you understand? So you only can comment certain things over there. Now, basically, <laughs> under the post where I go, right, she said, August 21, I am not playing nice. Now, obviously, you know, so she talk about the race today. She will make it be known, so she not playing nice. Well, if people did a comment at talk about the whole city they behind you and thing. And of course, Jamaica them jump in at the comment section same way even though she have the limited on and start put up the flag. Them put laughing emoji and them thing. That I'm tell you, don't try to disrespect Jamaican. Because if you try for this us, we definitely are going to come after you. You understand? Now people, a lot of persons, as I said, they react to her pulling out of this event, the 200 meters, you see me? And let's get into some of these reactions. So one person said, you can't tell people they got to see me in a race and then be behind them the whole time. They literally can't see you. <laughs> Um, a next person said, laugh my ass off. Mama Akos on national television. A tabo we know what she is capable of. You mean dead last? With some laughing emoji. A next person said, I'ma need everyone to start put some respect on Elaine name. A next person said, Shakari Richardson is 21 years old, just lost her mother, and has been experiencing the pandemic like the rest of us. Work a little bit of compassion back into the conversation. So you know, they must say, yo, people for have a little, you know, bit of compassion towards her, she lose her mother, which is definitely a sad situation. Me not telling lie, you see me. So me still would want to say condolences to her and her family. Yes, you know say, but of course, you know, say Jamaicans, some of us, I'm not going to say we don't really care, but some, a lot of persons might not even think about that. You see me? Them just think about the post where she make a talk about August the 21st, I'm ready. And the whole big talk and them things, they are only for she she plays last. So we're going to move on to our next comment. So this person say, Shakari is a really good example of why talking about what you're going to do instead of just doing it is a bad idea. Our next person said, the way Elaine is executing her races as of late, she may not lose any time soon. It may just be her versus the clock. Our next person said, Elaine for change her name to Elaine because when she took off, you know, a trouble. <laughs> Um, a next person said, if I finish dead last in a race, I'd act like I tore my Achilles. And we even see where Matthew Samuda left a comment saying, right now Shakari can't win champs. Yes, you know, people. So they must say, yo, not even champs, she can't win. Boy, oh boy, man, tell her, they must deal with her away. And obviously, you know, that's why she pull out of the race, because she can't manage the pressure. You see it, people. So 
Let me know what you guys think about this. Also, I see where the gleaner said double Olympic champion Elaine Thompson today ran a personal best, world leading, national record, Diamond League record, meet record of 10.54 in the women's 100 meters at the Profontaine Classic in Eugene, Oregon, a leg of the Wonder Diamond League. You see, it's so right now, Elaine out there create history. And as I say, we have to big up all our girls, them, Brianna, Sherika. Alien, Shellyan, you understand what I say? We well, love you know. Anyway, people, leave in the comments and let me know what you think about this. Thanks for watching the video. Don't forget to like, share, comment, and also subscribe. You see me? Bless up on yourself and keep safe. I'm out. When you go in the blocks, mm -hmm. because normally the camera will pick you guys up, yeah. uh, are you nervous? What exactly is going through your mind? Of when course. you're on your marks, get set, go. What is going through Shellyan's mind course at that time? Nervous, but you see, for me, I like to say, for, um, Everybody's nervous, first of all. All eight persons, we're all nervous. Yeah. And for me, I try to focus on what I need to do to get out of the blocks first because I know that's my advantage. Yes. And I'm going to make sure my advantage work for me. Yes. You right? I'm not the best finisher. Yeah. So I don't focus on that. Yes. I focus on Start what well. I am good at. Yes. You know, and that has kept me going throughout the years, you know, just to know that some persons are better at some things. But what am I good at? I'm very good at starting. So I'm going to focus on my starting. Yes. I'm going to focus on getting out of the blocks ahead of everybody. If you want to catch me, you just have to go catch me. Yeah. Right? So, <laughs> I didn't I'll catch you. <laughs> so that has always been the key for me. Yes. And when I stand at the line, of course, when the camera come out, I'm talking to myself, you know, the camera come on showing lane one. If I'm, if I'm in lane four, it's showing lane one, lane two, I not look. Yeah. <laughs> like, I am so focused. I not even look. If them call lane one name, me not even look. Yeah. No right? noise. Just a weird for my name. I smile and then I wave. Yeah. And then back in my head, I'm like, yes, yeah, start. You yeah. This one start. This one get the hand drive out. And that's it. You're nervous. And then, you know, all I want years ago, you know. Yes. When do you settle off? If I'm in the car room, I would tell you that. Yeah. I sit down in the car room and, you know, you do your little run through and you sit down and you relax. From there, I start to put myself in that mind frame. Yes. You know, this is a war time. Yes. You're ready for war. You have to get your game face on everything. But you can't be readable. Yes. You know, Who's who would you say is your biggest challenger? So, say for example, when you're in a race, lined up with this person. Mm -hmm. Yes, a general star. I have to start well in a crash. Yeah. Yeah. Honestly, I would say I, I would want to say everybody, but you see Carmelita Jetta now yeah. when I was racing her, me I tell you have to come with the A game because she have a top end that is like crazy. Yes. You know, Karen Stewart, those girls were just phenomenal when it come to race day. Yes. And I think what helped was the fact that I've always raced them throughout the circuit. Yes. So on the circuit I would race them. So it wasn't a thing where I would only meet them at championship. Yes. You know, I've been racing them so I know, you know, that these girls are what they're capable of. So for me it's like those are the girls, you know, blessing up a bar. Yes. You have to start and you have to hold your drive phase, you have to hold your technique. So it's when those ladies line up, you know, you have to be ready. You have to bring your A game at all times. But then again, with the way female sprinting is these days, you have to be ready. Yes. It's not like we're separated by a huge gap, gap anymore. Yeah. It's not Usain Bolt. <laughs> right? So it's not like we're separated by a huge gap. It's very close. So yes. Anything can happen in the races. So you just have to make sure that, you know, you're zoned in and focused on what you want to accomplish. Of all the medals that you've won, uh, and I'm sure that you have a medal room, <laughs> uh, a room dedicated to all your medals, right? We can't find <laughs> Where can I find them? Where are they? I cannot find them. Are they? So me, you know, get the medal, look for them nice. And yeah. Just put them somewhere in the house. Which medal means the most to you? Um. Your prized medal. When you look at it every time, you get the butterflies in your stomach or you get emotional or, I, you know, it gives would, you that feeling. I can say it in two parts. 2016, like, I'm not even a girl on a corner. I'm tell you so. I'm a tour. I'm yeah. tell you. Yes. Like a different level of pain, but a different mindset too. Yes. Because for me, when the pain starts and your tour hurts, I can't push, I can't do this. Mentally, it does something to you. Especially, it's an Olympic year. Yes. You know, your defending champion as well yes yeah, so you have your yeah. title you have your yeah, name yeah. to defend you have i just come off the 2015 where i won also yeah i'm going in 2016 so it's pressure yeah right and at the time mentally i was like 
me tore, me tore, me tore. And it did something for me or to me. You know, I was, I was just, I was out of it mentally. Yeah. Like, may I sit down and may I say to myself, say, no, might as well, me just not bother run. Yes. Might not a quitter, yeah. 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 Men are the type of person, you yeah. Get me? I say, me not just show up only when me can win. Me show up all the time because I'm a fighter. Yeah. You 